All right, this is today's haul. And I paid 75 for all of this because I bought Birkenstocks. They had, they were brand new. She never wore them. And they wanted 20 a pair. So I bought a couple of those. And I also wanted to show you, and I got this for 25. And it has, so this is perfect for me going to my kids or doing an overnighter somewhere. It has all these inserts, makeup bags, coin purse or whatever, little purse pouch I mean pills you can put your pills in there oh wait oh my gosh I didn't realize it was a big bag so this is one big bag brand new I didn't realize there was another big bag and this is Vera Bradley yeah very nice and the gals were saying that their mom gave them each one too so they each picked one and this one was left so perfect for me traveling this is a good craft bag actually this little pocket here 25 for that and then each one oh this is lined so that's a good one for make makeup so your makeup's not getting all over everything it's got a liner in it okay so that and these are my high dollar and then i got this pair of berkeys I love Birkenstocks, but they're really expensive. Oh my God, that would leave me nothing. So I thought for 20 bucks, these are never worn. And I guess they're bringing more today. So, but, you know, a couple pairs is enough. <laughs> and then these kind of purple. Very pretty. So there you go. Okay, back to the crafting. Oh, and then I did color in this one so i love it when they give me this so i can look at the colors and how they do it shading so i did that one here i did the poppies with my tri blends and the rest is chalk and then blue gel pens going on the raindrops so i thought that turned out cute and then i just think this is adorable <laughs> he fell asleep in the bird's feeder and the cat the birds are like what what are you doing so I did that one, also chalks and tri-blends. So there's that. Okay. Now back to my hoard. So, all right. So Margaret found those snaps and things, and I'm not into the silent. I don't do those, but I do Brad's. These are Stampin' Up. It came in this little container. Perfect. And just all kinds of tiny little brads in there. Well, I might, yeah, these, there's just bag after bag. <laughs> hundred pieces in each of the same kind of, so yeah, I should be divvying those out. Some of them are different colors, I think, I don't know. These are lost art treasures. I mean, she would have, I'll show you something she had like, 20 of them. It's like I wasn't. Yeah. But who am I to judge? Look at me. Here I am buying it all. Stamping up buttons. Love those colors. And then, are these brands? These are just enamel. Little hearts and all kinds of different colors. So lots of goodies in here. Lots of brads. So, there you go. Black rhinestone, green rhinestone. I tend to use the rhinestone ones a lot on cards, either in corners or in the flower. That's pretty. And then, is that the same? So yeah, and just the case itself is worth the price of admission, right? So I got that. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I was jealous last night. Margaret showed this impossible window plastic, and I was like, what? So I found one. There we go. So now I don't have to be jealous anymore. Now, she and I get along really well. I'm blessed to have such a good friend. Um, that's into what I do, right? Because, you know, not everybody's into crafting and shopping like I am, and she really enjoys it too, so it's perfect. So this is a Gemini, and it does that cut and emboss. I thought that was really cute. It's got like little daisies or sunflowers. That. 
look at this. All in the package, Anna Griffin, Slimline. Now, I know I've bought Slimline, but I don't think they're the Christmas ones, so I'll have to look. Okay, man, oh, more unicorns. I guess I like unicorns. <laughs> Who is this by Pink and Maine? This gal had, knew her company. She knew her good, good companies. So have a dreamy day. Magical wishes on your birthday. So cute. So I'll have to, I have a unicorn bag that I keep my unicorn stuff in. <laughs> okay. There's not as much with this one, thank goodness, because I don't need. I've already bought so much. It was more because, look at him. Isn't he cute? I was looking for snowmen, and I never did find any gingerbread men. It doesn't say. Oh, yeah, it does. Judith, 1995, I think. Isn't he adorable? Cute. And then, so I went kind of through the Christmas, found this Christmas house, with the snowman in front. I thought that was sweet. The bay window and the tree in it. The snowman outside. And then this house, the gate. I apologize for my keep leaning on my creaky table. I won't know until I watch it if it's bad or not. I'm not redoing this. Oh my god. A little turkey. I think that's dots. Yep. Dots. See, it just has that look, right? And I found this to go with it. With loving wishes. Annette Allen Watkins. So it's a Thanksgiving theme. I don't have much or anything in Thanksgiving, so now I do. <clears throat> I thought she was cute. Delafield Stamp Company again, Wisconsin. Oh, I love, that's just so sweet. And she had probably three drawers of cat stamps. And I only chose one cat because I just love this with all the flowers he's peeking out. Isn't that sweet? Really? Make an Impression, Issaquah, Washington, 1993. Very sweet. And then forgot about this. I got an iris container and I just use it as my container. They had papers in them yesterday and I think they just sold the paper maybe. I don't know. So I grabbed one. One I saw was not, it was broken so I didn't take that one. But anyway, look at these guys. Oh my god. Little, those little paper fa um, umbrellas. What's this one called? Sitting in the rain too. <laughs> I don't know how you don't smile when you see, and look, the jar die. So I'm going to put this with my jars in the drawer I had them in instead of, it's, I, I probably have this in my jar pouch thing. And I thought these were super cool. Foil, all different colors that say happy birthday. Oh my God, that would be so cool on a card or a banner or anything. So they are just these foil, pretty thick. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> you guys just always you'd say happy birthday. You go, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> yeah, memories are good. Okay. And I bought some more double-sided tape. Hopefully it doesn't have like a, where it starts losing its sticky. Because this one, remember this? This is when I first, this brand, Art Accents. Terrifically Tacky Tape. It's the original from Provocraft. But anyway, hopefully it's still sticky. And then the tear tape. Got a big thing of that. And I found this kit by Stampin' Up. It does these, has everything you need, and it's all in there. I checked because it's sealed. All right. Anyway, um to do these little shakers. It has everything, the, yeah, the clear, the acetate, the, the beat there, the sequins, and you come out with this. So there you go. All right, guys. I know, I know, don't judge me. I had somebody comment, I can't remember who it was. Oh, I got this too. Um, I'm getting on the plane now. Yeah, seriously, so much fun. This is Finesse by Spectrum Noir, alcohol-proof dye. Is it black? Oh, 
I thought it was, I assumed it was pink. Well, that's just the pen. What? Is it free? Noir black. Oh, even better, because then I have, I can use this with my alcohol inks. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.